Hello, my name is Alexander Belkin, also known as Sanya. I am working for MariaDB Corporation as a developer. Today I want to tell you about Union Intersect and Accept operation in MariaDB server. So roots of this operation uh, could be found in mathematics. Uh, in mathematics there are three popular uh, operations of uh, sets. First is uh, union, uh, in SQL also union. The result is uh, objects from the both uh, sets. Uh, then it will be uh, intersections or intersect in SQL words. Uh, the result is uh, objects which belong to both uh, sets. Indifference. In SQL it's called except. In some uh, SQL servers it's called also minus. Uh, so the result will be objects which belong to the first set but not to the second. And also I put here a mathematical representation of the operation but you will not need it in SQL. So set according to the definition, is a collection of distinct objects. So, uh, distinct operation uh, most closely represent uh, mathematical analogs. Uh, here I used a uh, world uh, database, it's standard database in MariaDB test suite and uh, contains of probably outdated uh, statistics about countries cities and languages. So let's try uh, to find biggest country. So country could be biggest by population or by surface area. So uh, we want both. And here we uh, just order countries by population and take top five. Then union result with the same table, but ordered by surface area, and then taking top five. And we got uh, eight uh, records, not ten. Eight, because there was some duplications and distinct operation remove them. So here, pay attention that uh, union used without distinct, because distinct is default, so you can just mentioned it or skip it, the result will be the same. Uh, also, <coughs> I used global order by name, uh, just to have a stable result set, not depending on how internally server produce results, it's good to do if you <coughs> doing some test suits or something like this. But <coughs> if you use uh, union or just any uh, query in the from clause, usually order by is useless because after that table will be joined and it's not preserve uh, the order. So in most times uh, server just drop order by in this case. Also <coughs> I recommend to put uh, select in brackets if you especially if you use order by or limit clause uh, why so let's uh, change a bit this query we added uh, columns population and surface area and remove the brackets uh, around last uh, select as well as uh, global order by and uh, the result is a bit disappointing why just because server uh, thinks that the query is this. So <clears throat> the last order by treated as a global uh, order by. It's uh, historically in the server uh, and we could not remove such interpretation uh, because it's used somewhere by clients. Uh, but uh, here, what we doing here, we just take first uh, five by population, then union them with uh, all table uh, about countries, so it's, we got all countries, then order 
them by surface area and uh, take first five. So it's not what we wanted. So probably uh, this query has no sense. So and definitely it's not what we wanted. So please pay attention to the brackets. Uh, and what about uh, the duplicates? We can easily find them by intersect uh, query, which uh, return uh, countries which are in both lists. And you can see here. Uh, also, uh, try to find countries which are really among biggest by population, but not among biggest by surface area. And you can just do it with except. Like here. All. All instruct server do not remove duplicates. Okay, so result should be in some terms obvious, like in union, it's clear what will be the result. Here we just used our first query, but with all, and you see duplicates are present here, so 10 records returned, everything is here. Then uh, about intersect and accept all, it's a bit more complicated stuff. And uh, to show it more clear, I used quite artificial uh, examples, uh, because everything which I could invent was either huge or had very bad uh, database schema. I don't want to show examples with bad database schema. Uh, so I think it's better this way. Also, I used a uh, table value constructor as selects, uh, which make query self descriptive. So everything is in query. So let's uh, take a look on intersect all. Um, I think the best representation would be matching uh, records from both sets. And if a record uh, found uh, match, it will not be used for matching anymore. So we match uh, first one here, uh, then two, and then second two, and uh, or everything which we match yeah. got into the result set. It's one, two, and two, and uh, there was no uh, match or pair for three and second one and four, so they are not uh, in the result. Uh, with except, it could be mm, represented the same way, but uh, we just remove from the first uh, result set matched records. So here, three and the second one uh, has no pair uh, in the second uh, result set, so they are good as a result. So, uh, for a long time we have uh, had we had only union operation and with union everything was a bit more simple. Uh, union you can just uh, use in any order you want if you do not uh, mix distinct and uh, all operation. It's clear. And even if you mix them, uh, you should remember only last distinct in the sequence. Uh, why? Because actually that last distinct turn everything previous intermediate result in a distinct form. And you can see it here. So I, special, uh, I separately put intermediate result in the time of uh, the last distinct for both examples. And you see the result is the same. Uh, for the server, uh, naturally, the first is better because it contains uh, less records. Mm -hmm. And the less records we operate, then it's faster. It's fit in memory or just uh, if it's the index there, it's faster for finding something in the index. So. And actually, this optimization made uh, automatically, you do not uh, do something to get it. It's just built in the server for a long time. Uh, but if we have a lot of operations, at least three, 
uh, we have think about in which order they will be executed. Uh, according to standard, uh, intersect has higher priority than union and accept, and union and accept has the same priority. Uh, you can think about it as about mathematical operation plus minus and multiplication, so union will be addition, except subtraction, and uh, intersect multiplication. And the priority of this operation will be the same uh, as analogs. Uh, but in the Oracle, and in our Oracle mode also, uh, union except intersect has the same priority, so they executed as they uh, put in the query. Uh, but uh, for the result really depends on uh, order of the execution. Uh, for example, here, uh, if we first make union, the result will be 1, 2, 3, 4, and then intersect with uh, 1, 3, we got 1, 3. But if, uh, according to the rules, uh, intersect will be executed first, you will get 3, 4 intersect 1, 3, the result will be 3, and then union with 1 and 2, we get uh, 3, so 1, 2, 3. Uh, to enforce uh, order what you need, you can use uh, brackets around union or any actually table operation. So here in the first example, you see like additional brackets to get the result, what, you, what we want. And uh, speaking about all these features, uh, where we got them. So, as I told, Union was with us for a long time. It's somewhere in MySQL 3, probably, uh, it appears, and Sinisha was author of it. In 10.1, uh, Igor uh, made optimization, so Union all do not uh, collect intermediate result in temporary table, just return it, because uh, union all, okay, most time, if it's not uh, ordered, do not need post-processing, so can just return uh, rows to the client. In 10.3, I added except distinct, intersect distinct, and uh, default operation precedence. In 10.4, we together with Igor uh, added support of brackets in table operation. Actually, now MySQL also has brackets in table operation, despite they have only the fact that they have only uh, union operation, but okay, if you mix uh, uh, all and distinct, probably you will need it. And uh, in 10.5, uh, accept all and intersect all uh, was contributed by Wayne Xia. I hopefully pronounce the name correctly. Uh, so in 10.5, you have everything. Now, uh, to use it more efficient, you should a bit uh, know about internals. Uh, uh, the standard way to look in internals of uh, the server is explain extended combined with show warnings. Actually, you can use this command to get any query, uh, to see any query, rewrite it, how it looks like, re re rewrite it after opti optimization phase. Uh, and here result is a bit cryptic, but uh, I especially for you rewrite it in with good ident and uh, highlighting some features. So uh, here we have uh, except in brackets and it uh, moved it is to subquery in the from clause of some dummy uh, select. So first uh, select is untouched, and second turn to uh, select with uh, all brackets in the from clause. 
and uh, dash uh, underscore underscore four is the name of the table here, and three is the name of the column because it's how server name column if you do not give a special name for it. So you can see that it could be expensive. It probably it is. Uh, so if you could uh, write query so it will be executed in chain, it's better to do so. So when you execute queries in chain, the output will, will be actually exactly the same. And uh, how query executes such chain? Actually, for whole chain, used only one uh, temporary table. And uh, it collects, like, accumulate uh, intermediate result for, result for operation. Uh, then it could be filtered, it's dependent on operation. And then uh, if there are global order by or something like this, it will be pseudo uh, select, which uh, then produce result, uh, like final result. And uh, for union, it's clear. Union just uh, add uh, records to this temporary table, each select. And uh, if there is a distinct uh, we we use a unique constraint to just avoid duplicates in this table. And if uh, distinct mixed with uh, all, we are doing distinct part with a unique constraint and then switch it off, and which allow to add any records to the table and you get correct result. Uh, except distinct is not also complex, we just uh, what should be except part just uh, remove found row. So we use a unique constraint as a, an index to find duplicate rows and remove them. Uh, intersect distinct uh, is a bit more complicated. It requires special hidden field uh, where we mark uh, rows on each path. So, uh, first select add records and second uh, marked found records. And then there is final pass, which I mentioned the filtering, uh, which filter only marked rows as a result. Union intersect except with all when, when they are combined in one chain is even more complicated. I, uh, a bit here, I am a bit simplificated the picture because it's quite complex. But in general, we use yet another uh, hidden field, uh, the uh, duplicate counter, as well as unique constraint. So instead of adding two duplicates to, to the table, we just increase uh, this duplicate counter or decrease it in case of accept operation. And after that, of course, we need uh, filtering paths which unfold these uh, rows according to the duplicate count. So that's all what I wanted to tell you. Thank you for your attention.